Hello everyone, welcome to Piano Well. This is another video for my students to help them correct three main mistakes that occur while speeding up. Inaccuracy, unevenness, and tension. So, my dear students, <laughs> when you notice any of these three mistakes, please don't expect that by just keep repeating the same fragment over and over again with no corrections, these mistakes will go away. It will only piss you off and let you just want to quit playing piano. <laughs> so, find mistakes, know the reasons and causes of those mistakes, and correct those mistakes. That's a perfect plan, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Before I go ahead, I just want to tell you that I will include some videos in the description below for those of you who have no idea what intonation, musical speech, and sound texture are about. So, mistake number one. When your fingers are not playing evenly. Something like this. And you need to know that we control the even time between notes uh, by better focusing on intonation and musical speech. What that means, that first you need to really pay attention to which fingers exactly are playing faster. In my case, that would be second and third finger, or second and fourth finger. So, um, as we know, we control fingers by our internal singing, by our intonation, and that means that we need to focus better on intoning the interval that leads to our third finger. And also, that might be very helpful if you pay more attention to musical speech in this particular interval, because emotional understanding of interval will only uh, help you control your finger much, much better. Hmm, why can't I play it evenly? So frustrating again. Oh, wait. Maybe nothing is wrong with me. Just need to correct intonation and musical speech over here. Yes. Mmm, it's ascending third. Mm, okay. Alright, that's better. Now let's see. Yes! <laughs> now it's better. Yes, it's good. Perfect. Mistake number two. When your playing is not accurate, you keep missing the notes. Control the accuracy of fingers by better intonation, by better musical speech, just like in the previous mistake. So first you need to, again, pay attention to which finger exactly misses the note. And then uh, control that finger with your internal singing by better intoning the interval that leads to that finger. For example, if I miss something like this, I would intonate better interval that leads to my third finger. Another thing that might help is just hold on for a second and imagine that particular fragment, that particular note in your mind again very clear. Because sometimes your finger keeps missing the note because your mind keeps missing the note in imagination. Imagining something blurry instead of a clear sound. Oh, this is so frustrating. Why does it keep happening again? I'll just keep playing, it will be fixed by itself. No, <laughs> keep missing notes. Right, where is it exactly? Where is it? Okay. Okay, it's here. Alright. And I'll just imagine. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's better. <sighs> Let's try again. Yes! <laughs> now it works. Yes, now it's good. And mistake number three. If you feel that your play becomes more and more rigid, stiff and tense, less weight and freedom, more flatness, 
while you wouldn't really feel that your hands are quite fatigued, that means that the tension comes from you not being able to internally sync to intonate with enough volume while playing in fast tempo. So all you need to do is just to focus better on imagining notes and sound texture with glissando between notes. So, if your playing looks something like this, if you pay attention, I don't know guys how some of you still playing this way, it's just, it just hurts. Anyways, if you pay attention, you will notice that in your body, in your energy, you would feel absolutely the same way. And so in your intonation, your internal singing would be very flat and very stiff. So now let's come back to, to, to the basic and let's sing an interval without sound texture and then with. You can feel right away the difference in your throat, the difference in your singing and energy. So that volume in your intonation is exactly what you start missing while internally singing in fast tempo. So all you need to do is just uh, focus better on imagining notes and sound texture and that will naturally eliminate all the flatness and stiffness in your internal singing, in your intonation. Hmm, my hands are not really tired, but yet it feels so stiff, something is not right. Okay, oh, my intonation is flat. Alright, just imagine notes and sound texture. Let's see how it goes. Oh, now it feels so good. Yes, here we go. Now it works. Good. And lastly, always remember that working out, at least in the period of time when you're practicing in fast tempos, will not only prevent you from injuries, but will also let you control your fingers and hands much better and play much more effortless. So this is one of my old videos with full workout routine. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.